Hi, a few weeks ago I came across this interesting shaping, shaped box on the internet and the instructions were all in German but I managed to work out how to make it and I posted it on my blog a few weeks ago and several of you commented saying that you'd like to know how to make it so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's You squeeze the top together and it pops open and obviously then you can put your goodies in. It's fairly simple to make but once I'd made this, I started playing about with different measurements and I came up with this one. So this one is based on a two inch square bottom and it stands about five inches tall. This one's two and a half inches and stands about six or six and a half inches high. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll show you how to size it up to make this one I'll just do this one in paper but this one I'm going to do in cardstock so what you need is a piece of card to me um, that measures eight and a half inches wide by six inches high you're going to need if you're going to decorate it with paper you're going to need two pieces of patterned paper I'm using Stampin' Up Designer series paper this is from Painted Blooms and these are three and three quarter inches square and you need two of those. The first thing you need to do is put your card in a scoreboard of some description. This is the Simply Scoreboard by Stampin' Up. If you haven't got one, it's brilliant. It, it scores at every eighth of an inch and you can buy this through my Stampin' Up shop and the details are always at the beginning of the blog and in the box directly under the YouTube video and if you can't see it there's a box that says show more click on that and all the uh, links will be in there so on the long side you need to score at four inches and eight inches then you need to turn it round and score at one inch flip it all the way round and score at an inch again then what you need to do is, I've scored mine in the wrong place, so I'm just going to add an extra piece of paper on mine. So, but basically, with the, if you look at the card, you've got a thin section here and then two big sections. These two big sections are the front and back, and this thin strip is going to be your glue strip. So you need to add two more scoring points, but you need to add them with this thin section on the right hand side. So I'm going to put it back in my board and this is the thin section here. And you're going to score at two and six, but only down to that first one inch horizontal line. OK, that's it with the board for now. Then what you need to do is I'll turn it back round again. Ignore these little score marks at the bottom here. That's where I've scored it wrong. So you're now going to, with a ruler and a stylus, you're going to score from where this two inch score mark is down to this first inch horizontal. You're going to score with a ruler from this bottom point down to this bottom horizontal line in a diagonal both ways in this box and in this box. So I'm going to try and do this so that I can see it. It's not the greatest to see on Blackberry Bliss card, but you know, we'll give it a go and see. So that's one side and then I'll just do the other. Done it wrong now. Okay, so what you've got this is the glue strip on this end. So you've got an inch horizontal, you've got a two inch mark, a four inch mark and a six inch mark. At the two inch mark, we've scored diagonally down to this bottom one inch horizontal line. So 
so we've gone from there to there and there to there and then from here which is the six inch down there and down there okay this section with the two four six and eight is actually the bottom of your box okay ignore my extra couple of score marks there that's where i've scored it wrong off camera so we're going to cut now up here to this first horizontal line Then this bottom one we can cut off completely this rectangle because this is going to form our gluing strip. Okay, so that's how we're looking at the moment. I've gone a bit wayward on my, don't know if you can see there, I've gone a little bit wayward on my score line, but we're going to cover this up with paper. So this is your glue tab. This is your front. This is your back. This is your bottom. And the top here is where I scored it incorrectly. So I'm going to cover this section and this section up with paper on this one. But on this one, I left it plain. So what we need to do now is fold and burnish on all of these score lines. And then we need to score these diagonal ones as well, but you just have to kind of tease them with your hands first. And then give them a burnish. And because you've done them with a ruler, they're not as indented as they would be if you did them on the board and that's why I'm saying you just have to kind of tease them a little bit. And I forgot to cut that line. You need to cut the four inch score line on the top there. Okay, so that's how you're looking. You've got your glue tab, you've got your four individual sections, which is the bottom, and you've got one cut at the four inch mark here on the top, because that's how your bag or box is going to fold in half. So we need to... can't actually remember if that was cut away on the tab. Yeah, so where we've cut the bottom section away on the... On the glue tab we need to cut the top section away as well thought it wasn't folding very smoothly it's a few weeks ago since I made this box so okay so that's how you're looking this is the right side and we're going to put some glue here but before we stick it all together we're going to stick our panels on now the way you need to do this I've actually marked mine ready as I said to you before, these are three and three quarter inches square. You need to mark at one and seven eighths. Just put a little mark either with a pen or do it on your scoreboard because you need that as a guide to be able to cut this now to form these triangular shapes. So just get my score, my cutting, my trimmer. And what we're going to do is this is the track where my trimmer cuts. This mark here, where I've made one and seven eighths there with a pen, that mark is going to go in the groove, try and bring it down here so you can see, it, in the groove of my trimmer. 
and then while you're keeping that in there you're going to bring this point down to the groove so that you're forming an angle and then you're going to cut and that's what you've got so far then you're going to keep that point where you marked in the top of your trimmer and turn the bottom section round so that comes into the trimmer And if you line it up, you'll be left with a triangle and two other sections. So I'm just going to do that on the other piece. Okay, so that's all my pieces cut up now. I'm going to stick these onto here. And you should have a little bit of a border all the way around. I'm just going to use... A glue stick's a good idea for something like this because you can get right into the corners so that everything stays stuck down. But just for speed on the video, I'm just going to use this glue runner. Now, you could leave it like that and stick it together, but because I made a mess up here before where I put the score in the wrong place, I'm just going to put an extra piece of pattern paper just to hide my score marks. But as I say, this isn't necessary. I didn't do it on the first box. And then I'm just going to round the corners of these two top sections. Again, this isn't necessary. Okay, they're rounded now. I just need to add a little bit more glue because obviously I've not gone right to the end of these because I'm doing it quick. So, so you're going to put right side down, you're going to put glue on this thin strip on the tab next to it, miss one, and on the tab there. So the first and third tabs. I'm going to try fast fuse on this. So you need all the tabs folded in. So fold in, glue on there. And glue on here. Just fold them out of the way for now. This fast fuse is, oh, I've probably stuck myself to the table now. This fast fuse is very, very, very sticky. Line up your edges, pop your box, and you want to fold in your two flaps that have got the glue on. They literally just meet and square up this bottom over it, and the same there. And then when you push it down, and press you can then get inside with a bone folder to secure it all so that's how it looks and as I say you just pop it open and then I'm just going to add 
I've already cut some flowers on the scan and cut. If you don't have one of those, Stampin' Up! do a petite petals punch that's the same as this. I'm going to get my piercing tool. Just turn these over and put some glue dots on the back. And just put these on the front for decoration. And there it is. What do you think? Quite nice, isn't it? Actually quite like it with that extra bit of paper on the top. And then what you need to do, just bend this a little bit, just to give it a little bit of give. And then you just push on the outside edges and it will pop. And there's the one I did without the paper on the top. Obviously this was just to cover up my incorrect score lines so cute the bigger one i'm not going to make it but i'm just going to show you for this one just get my notes because as i say i know i keep saying it but it is a few weeks since i made this so to make the bigger one like this, you need a piece of card that's ten and a half inches wide by eight inches high. And then for this one, you score it at five and ten, which will give you your thin little section here, which is your gluing section. And then on this one, just to give you a bit more height, when you rotate it, I scored at half an inch, which will be your top, and then rotate it all the way round and score at one and a half. So the one and a half section is the bottom. So effectively it will look like this. So you'll have a five inch section here, a five inch section here, a half an inch which will be your glue tab and you'll have a half inch at the, along here which will be the top and a one and a half section at the bottom and that's the bottom. So put it back in your scoreboard and flip it over on this one. It didn't matter on your other one because you had an inch at the top and an inch at the bottom but you need to score it so that the glue strip is on the right hand side that's where I mis made a mistake with the first one when I put the score lines in the wrong place so you need a, the full five inch section or on the other one the full four inch section here on the left and you're going to score this one at two and a half and seven and a half down to that first horizontal score line which in this case is the one and a half so you're going to score at two and a half down to that one and a half inch mark and you're going to score at seven and a half down to that one and a half inch score mark take it out and then you're going to draw in your diagonal lines again so you're going to go from this horizontal line here up to that two and a half. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but we've got half inch at the top, one and a half inch at the bottom. And on this one and a half inch wide section now, we've got score marks at two and a half, five, seven and a half and 10. So, with the thin section on the right hand side, you're going to chop away the bottom section. Chop away this tiny section at the top. That's going to reveal your glue strip. And then you're going to cut up to this one and a half inch. 
score mark. Got that many things on my desk now, and then you're going to score on all your or fold and burnish, I should say, on all your score marks. I've not pressed so hard with this only being paper, but you'll get the idea. Put that one in the middle again, down to that half inch score and then find your diagonals and do the same as we did last time. The idea, it was just the measurements more than anything I wanted to give you. So again, I'll do it this way, turn it over, put some glue along there, fold your first one and your third one in and apply some glue to those and then just fold this over and it should all line up like so put your two sections in that have got the glue on so this squared up and stick that one down and I'll just press that down with my bone folder and that's your bigger box for this one if you want to decorate it you need designer series paper that's five and three quarters by four and three quarters and you would score it at the two and three eighths mark and cut it as I showed you how to do it in this. I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.